if you're going to do this, you have to have the person take off any jewelry because the jewelry is going to add to the displacement of the water. This works. This thing works on the concept of displacement. So you, when she puts her hand in here, water is going to spill out here, all right? I take a crayon and I mark the water line just so I know if I'm going to measure it again so I know how much water I put in, all right? So you should always, you should always mark where the water line is just for your own reference point. But what you're going to have the person do is you're going to have them hold their hand like this in these box, live well and prosper. And they're going to stick their hand in here, and there's a, there's a bar down here. And as soon as the bar hits the web space between the, the middle and the ring finger, they're going to stop. Okay? When they do that, you're going to catch the water in a beaker, all right? Powers first urination after being unfrozen. Okay. And then you're going to take the water from the beaker and you're going to put it into this device, which is called a graduated, a graduated cylinder. cylinder. Okay. Oops. See, Archway took it. So then you're going to take you're going to put the graduated cylinder down, and I suggest holding a piece of paper behind it so it's easier to read. And in this case, it's, she has 250 milliliters of water displaced. Okay. Then you're going to document that. Then you're going to go and you're going to do your treatment. And then you're going to go back and you're going to remeasure the hand and it should have less water, right? So that's, thank you.